Oh god. Oh no. Oh, how do you communicate that there is a bomb right there? How? They can't die. They can't. They're the main characters. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary and today we are watching an alien movie called The Arrival 2016. There's actually another movie made in 1996 and it has Charlie Sheen in it also called The Arrival, and I got confused. I was about to watch the 1996 version. Glad that I know now that it's the 2016 version, because that potentially could have been a waste of time if I had clicked onto the 1996 version. Anyways, getting sidetracked as I always do. This movie has also won an Oscar Best Achievement in Sound Design, so excited to hear all the sounds in this film. Now I've watched a lot of alien movies on my channel. You just have to look for them. I've reacted to Alien, Aliens, Prometheus, just off the top of my head, Predator, Alien versus Predator. I've, look, I can't even name the amount of alien movies that I've watched on my channel. Okay, I can't even name them. There's been that many. So this is just yet another alien movie that I'm watching on my channel from all of the alien movies that I've watched so far. I'm expecting to be a little bit terrified in this film, but that's okay. I know it's not the month of scary cherry, but this film hasn't been listed as a horror. So fingers crossed that I'm not completely terrified. It is a mystery. It is a drama and it's also a sci-fi. I know that Amy Adams is in it. Other than that, I don't know anything else. I'm going into it essentially blind, but I'm really excited for it because it's directed by the same guy that directed Dune and I really enjoyed Dune, reacted to it on my channel, David Villanueva, and it's also been adapted by a book. So the book was good enough to be turned into a movie. Very exciting stuff. Before we jump into the arrival, I want to remind you guys about the uncut version. That is going to be over on Patreon. The link for that is in the description bar and in the pinned comments down below. You just need a copy of the movie so that you can watch it along with me I can be on one screen there's going to be a timer screen's going to be blurred and the movie can be on another screen and we can watch it at the same time down in the description bar and in the pink comments you can also find all my social media handles Instagram Twitter Twitch Discord TikTok Facebook all of that is going to be down below as well as my two other channels my gaming channel and my vlog channel so with all of that said guys I think we're ready to jump into the arrival I don't know if I'm ready but here we go I used to think this was the beginning of your story Memory is a strange thing. Damn, I am in Shutter Island. We are so bound by time, by its order. Amy Adams is a mama. Aw, such a little darling. Come back to me. Pick him up! <laughs> <laughs> laughing before the tickling's even begun, I love it. Oh shoot, it's got some bad news from the doctor's office. Oh no, a daughter has cancer. Oh, had? She died? That happened so quick. Dr. Banks, can you turn the TV to a news channel? <laughs> oh, this must be the day they arrived. This is from a site in Hokkaido. This is worldwide. It is happening right now. <gasps> Life just keeps getting worse for so Professor Banks. already giving me apocalyptic vibes it's very loud i don't know mom i'm watching the same news coverage you are please don't bother with that channel how many times do i have to tell you those people are idiots she has a very very nice house yeah well do i sound nervous okay exactly so um me yeah uh, you know me i'm about the same She's just a college professor i'm guessing she doesn't live like in a big city mom i'm fine okay i'll call you later She's a doctor, Bye. though. Two are reported to have penetrated Russian airspace. One inside... Russian airspace. Damn, these aliens are brave. There are 12 unidentified objects spread across the globe. Oh, Australia. Oh, there's none in Australia. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, shh. Oh, oh, no. Still, still, it's like three hours... Of, no, it's like five hours away from Sydney. So that's still all right. Sydney's fine. And New Zealand. <laughs> we'll just all go to New Zealand, everybody. I never saw like a, a husband or a wife or partner figure in her life. Um, even when the baby 
was born. So I wonder if she was an IVF baby or a child. I have something I need you to translate for me. Why are you here? Can you, can you understand us? Imagine if she's like, okay, so he said, why are you here? <laughs> can you understand us? <laughs> She's she's supposed to translate the noises, I guess. No, you heard it. What do you make of it? Not from this planet, that language. How many um, speaking? Two. Assume they were not speaking at the same time. Are you, are you sure? Did they have mouths? So how would you approach translating this? Yeah, this is different. <laughs> you know what you do? <laughs> she, she literally doesn't know how to help you, dude. <laughs> so. You mentioned Berkeley. Are you going to ask Danvers next? Maybe. Before you commit to him? Ask him the Sanskrit word for war and its translation. So they have a rivalry, I guess. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. More? Oh, it's just a helicopter. It's very loud. What if she was in a deep sleep? What do you say, Minx? A desire for more cows. <laughs> Pack your bags. Hey, isn't that um Hawkeye? It was pretty dark, but it looked like him. <laughs> yeah, man, this movie is really dark. Even the scenes with light in it, still pretty dark. We're starting with a series of just handshake binary sequences. How about we just talk to them before we start throwing math problems at them? <laughs> They're gonna butt heads. I'll bring the coffee. Coffee with some aliens. <laughs> I don't know if aliens drink coffee but um we'll we'll see that's a big boy looks like a blimp though like a like a vertical blimp <laughs> Ugh, the noises they remind me of whale sounds but like more fluty aren't they scared that these aliens are gonna harm them at all? That would be my first thought. If their atmosphere is different from Earth, it would certainly take hours to rebalance the O2 content and pressure for us every time they open their door. Right. So you're saying they could suffocate us if they wanted. To just go in there well prepared. This is Dr. Luis Banks. She'll be heading your team. Hi. Dr. Banks. It's a pleasure. Dr. Banks is taking over the mission from Dr. Walker. <laughs> Another alarm. You scooped that before? Kind of radiation exposure we want. I have, and scuba no. diving gear is extremely heavy. There's a wall, like a glass wall. You can't get to them. That's good. So You'll see soon enough. Hurry up. I want to see. I'm very excited to see what these particular aliens look like, because every movie has their own interpretation of aliens. All right, up, up, and away they go. Oh my god, that's a bit daunting, isn't it? How high is it going? They're losing reception here, too. Huh? Just stays there? Yeah, that just happened. Gravity definitely works different. <laughs> wow. This is wild. It's like they're in space. Gravity nominal in the antechamber. It's all good, sir. You can proceed. Stand by. That's so crazy. You can do this. Come on. I think. <laughs> 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 Ready or not. Oh. <gasps> uh oh. He's okay. You good? Imagine if he just fell. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Everybody move out. Position. We're on the move. I'm scared. I'm a little bit frightened. Ugh, they're upside down. I don't like this shot. It makes me uneasy. The suspense is killing me. No, really, because it's taking so long, I'm aging. <laughs> My cells are slowly dying. A bird. Why'd they bring a bird up here? Oh, to Sarah, test. What happens now? They arrive. You can arrive now. We're ready for your arrival. They kind of look like squids. This is a FromSoft game. You can start. <laughs> go on. You go first. Am I fired? You're better than the last guy. It doesn't make me feel any better. Figure something out. Okay, what happens then? You go back in. You can't escape the job. 
At least they got some recordings. The president has declared a mandatory dust to dawn curfew. After I'd probably be happier to be out here, to be honest. I just wouldn't be, want to be so close to the aliens. Look, I'm never going to be able to speak their words if they are talking, but they might have some sort of written language or basis for visual communication. Okay, let's get started. Take two, human, question mark, and then underneath that, dancer, question mark. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a big fan of the killers. It's hard when she's the first one. I'm human. I'm you. One, two, three, four, five, six. I counted at least seven, but I want to say that's weird. So they probably have like eight legs. Four, five, six, seven. I keep counting seven. Don't turn your back. Is the bird okay? What the hell is happening to the bird right now? Ugh. Oh my gosh. Oh, finally, at least something. Just reminds me of Elden Ring. That's <laughs> incredible. Oh, good. Human. Human. This is kind of cute. I really like circles. Or half circles. <laughs> Trying to teach him how to speak and read? That's gotta take longer. You're wrong. Faster. They are intelligent. And he asked what they were, and the Aborigines said kangaroo. And a point is? It wasn't until later that they learned that kangaroo means I don't understand. <laughs> so oh, I didn't know understand. that. But I need you to submit your vocabulary words before the next session. And remember what happened to the Aborigines. A more advanced race nearly wiped them out. Yeah, that's a very, very sad and dark part of Australian history. And and biggest of all, mm -hmm. we need to have enough vocabulary with them that we understand their answer. Yeah, misinterpretation could be extremely dangerous here. Oh, she's shaken. Doesn't get easier. She's brave, though. She's sticking through with it. She knows how important this is. I thought it'd be a scary movie, to be honest, but it's not as scary as it is intriguing. Please, I am symbol i can't tell oh she's taking a helmet off why yeah fine they need to see me take it off her headmaster right to to show the difference they need to see me dr base dr base she's walking towards the screen she's walk oh wow she went from shaken to walking towards the screen everybody back away this woman has gone mad <laughs> it's a very white screen Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why is she touching that? <gasps> oh, oh. Alien Ussie. Ooh. Ooh, does he want to just maybe... I am Louise. You want to introduce yourself? Is that a different symbol? Yes, it is. It, it must be. Louise. Screw it. Oh, he's going to take it off too? Everybody dies, right? <laughs> Permission to abort? Continue the session. Wow, huge progress. They've, yeah, they've made this habitat, clearly. Like there's a screen here and the other side is safe yeah. for them. Louise. I feel like they're so you. friendly. Who are you? I wonder if their liquids are poisonous. We are. I think those are their names. That and that, so and so. I was thinking Abbott and Costello. <laughs> Yeah, I like it. Oh, Costello's just gone away. We're almost an hour into this film and we only know their names. Is she okay? She took her hazmat suit off though. Maybe she's experiencing some sort of side effect from the oxygen levels. I know. Oh, she's thinking about her daughter. Nothing else we can detect either, but I'd give them a strong cocktail regardless. It's the first time we've made significant progress. All right, we'll take the risk. Continue to have them without their suits on? I'm sure he can't say anything to his partner. Honey, it's not gonna happen. They seem friendly though, like they genuinely do. Otherwise they wouldn't have created that area for the humans to communicate with them, right? Why they create a glass window? very complex language i to me it all looks 
the same, but slightly different. Here are some right? of the many things we don't know about heptapods. Hepta 7, pod foot, 7 feet. 7 feet? Okay, I wasn't crazy. Why? The most plausible theory is that they chose places on Earth with the lowest incidence of lightning strikes. Hmm. But there are exceptions. Oh, Indian Ocean, not even Australia. I thought they landed in Perth. Ian Walks. This is so cool. <laughs> Unlike all written human languages, their writing is semisiographic. Semisiographic. So cool. Perhaps they view our form of writing as a wasted opportunity, passing up a second communications channel. Right. This is cool. They're slowly translating everything. A heptapod can write a complex sentence in two seconds effortlessly. It's taken us a month to make the simplest reply. <laughs> Damn, the world must be going crazy. We're not seeing it, but I think they're probably going crazy. I watch you steer us around these communication traps that I didn't even know existed. I guess that's why I'm single. Trust me, you can understand communication and still end up single. Oh, uh, her. Oh, so they're both single. <laughs> this one. <I'm>... Oh. <laughs> Jesus. What the heck is going on in Venezuela and Sierra Leone? Oh, in the UK. <gasps> no. How? People are going crazy. I was waiting for it. I want to hear what you think. Caller number one, you're on the air. What do you think about all this? I guess they, they just have to ignore it and stay focused on the task. What's this word? Well, she's being... She's either being haunted or side effects are only just hitting her. When was your last checkup we got to get? I'm okay. Let me get some air. Just... Just get yourself checked up. Where was her dad when she was dying of cancer? Yeah, it affects how you see everything. It was, uh, I'm curious, are you dreaming in their language? Oh, maybe that's what's happening to her. I mean, I've had a few dreams, but I don't. I don't think that that makes me unfit to do this job. Oh my gosh. Yeah, go see Dr. Kettler. Did you sleep? That makes sense. I'd be surprised if um, the scientist knew about the sap and wharf theory by some reading he did, he'd done. The voice you're about to hear belongs to China's military chief, General Shang. Pull it up. So they're going to present the question, I suppose, and then they're going to have to translate whatever circle thing they come up with. Conversation complete. Do we only have Costello? Oh, no, there's Abbott. What is that? Music makes me feel uneasy. What does it say? Offer weapon. Offer weapon. You saw what they wrote. Using a word they don't fully understand. Really just understand. Just a warning. Enough. We don't know if they understand the difference between a weapon and a tool. Yeah. How is it more complicated than that? Colonel, the Secretary of Defense is on the line oh. for you. There's the complication. China and Russia are off the grid. They aren't speaking to anyone. Whatever they learned in their last session has them spooked. Damn. Yes, sir. We have orders to do the same. We uh, need to be talking to each other. You want to talk to them? Find out what this means. They don't want to share information just yet. I guess that's my people for the best. Because what if they take it the wrong way, just like these guys took it the wrong way? This is the alien message oh said my to God. the Chinese government to withdraw their scientists from the international mission today. Humanity must be protected. Oh my China gosh. China. Why? Captain Mark, Condor, not receiving transmission. Watch twice if you hear mine. I think it's probably to do with trade or maybe they want to offer the humans a weapon because something else is coming for the humans and they want them to be okay or they... What? Is that a bomb? Uh-oh, this isn't good. Oh no. Suddenly feeling uneasy about this. The session is finished. You can't, can't go back in. It's dangerous. Look, we just need five minutes. Don't sweat it. Marks, let him go. The hell there's a bomb in there why would they let them go when there's a bomb in there that bomb is rogue for something. sure what's that visitors friends could mean yes, so many things be careful of the bomb oh they're warning them about the bomb warning about the bomb i think they're being warned mutineers oh so it was a rogue bomb there are a bunch of mutineers, though. 
Oh god. Oh no. Oh, how do you communicate that there is a bomb right there? How? They can't die. They can't. They're the main characters. Like he, he's giving her a vision. Oh wow, she she is writing just by touching That's what she's feeling. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. She wrote something and it's and now they're understanding. Oh my gosh, but that bomb, dude. They're getting the hell out of there. Oh no, they're gonna die. Oh no, they're not gonna survive. Oh wow, they helped them. They pushed them away. Oh, oh wow, they s their lives were saved. They were like, these humans are not understanding us. We just got to push them the f out of the way. <laughs> Was that a dream as well? Yeah. Oh no, yeah. she's woken Take up. Take it easy. You suffered a concussion. Slow back. The aliens yeah. saved them. How is Ian? Well, same as you. He's okay. Who did this? I'm soldiers. I've been watching too much TV. But as long as they stay, we have to stay. Oh God, what the hell is that? Have they gone outside their chambers? Oh no. I can see the military with the guns. This is going to get ugly. This is going to get bad. Oh, they're leaving? Well, they're not leaving. Oh, they're not? How does this feel worse? Oh, they just went higher up. Okay. China. All right. They're positioning their military to blow the alien vessel right of out of the sky. Of course they are. Said the aliens have 24 hours to leave Chinese territory <laughs> or face destruction. Okay. Okay, buddy. We'll see. We'll see how far you get with that. Oh... Oh, they're offering a pod to her. They're so smart. Invitation only. She is VIP. How scary though, by herself. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's pretty cool. She is literally being abducted. <laughs> oh God. Is she gonna die in this pod? No, they're too smart. They're too smart. They wouldn't let that happen, would they? Oh, wow. Wow, it's really bright now. Is she on the other side, maybe? On their side of the glass? What? What is this place? Oof. She is on the other side. Wow. They are very big. Where's Abbott? Oh. Abbott is death process. Abbott's dying <gasps> from the explosion. I'm sorry. We're sorry. I need you to send a message to the other sites. Louise has weapon. She doesn't use weapon. I don't understand. We help humanity. In 3,000 years, we need humanity help. How can you know the future? Oh, wow. So they're helping humans now because in 3,000 years, humans will help them? I don't understand. Who is this child? Oh, oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. And there's a bird. <gasps> Did she even have a daughter? Louise sees future. Weapon opens time. Oh, my gosh. This some interstellar sh Daddy was a scientist. Call your daddy. He's the scientist. I, I At the time when I heard that, I was like, well, she has a type. <laughs> we have orders to evacuate. What? Why? Russia and Sudan are following China. Oh, no. Mom. So strange. Mama. I thought this was the past she was, she was seeing. I know something that's going to happen. I can't explain how I know, I just do. And when I told your daddy, he got really mad. Oh. What's going to happen? Is daddy going to die? It has to do with a, a real Oh, oh. And it's unstoppable. Oh. Kind of like you are. Of course, of course, she's always known. That's heartbreaking. Holy shit. Oh no. This is terrible. Well, your name is very special because it is a palindrome. Oh. It reads the same forward and backward. Of course she's, she would choose a palindrome for her daughter's name, being a language specialist. We're done here. 
We're taking this with us. <gasps> it's the future. And it becomes the universal language? I know what it is. What? what? It's not a weapon. The weapon is their language. They gave it all to us. Do you understand what that means? So we can learn how to bot. So, so you can see what's to come. Oh. Listen to her. The language is a gift. Reading into the future. That is incredible. I, I think I'd really like that gift. Dr. Banks, a pleasure. General Shang. General Shang. Pleasure is mine, really. She's meeting with General Shang. I do not claim to know how your mind works, but... So she's I already done it? I called you, didn't I? Yes, you did. Wow. <laughs> she is the key to everything. She knows. She knows the number right now. So she can do that right now. That is amazing. All right, let's shut down the system. Sir, there's a sat line here dialing China. <laughs> here? What do you mean, here? <laughs> She's like, I've got to go somewhere private. Whose phone is it? It's your phone, sir. Oh. Search base camp now. Find out who's using that phone. Uh-oh. Oh, they are tracking her. I am from the future. <laughs> sort of. Not really. I would never forget what you said. What, what was that exactly? Can you remind me? <laughs> you told me my wife's dying words. Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. Oh, my God. This is intense. What are you doing? Changing someone's mind. Can you find me 20 seconds? No. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Drop the phone now or we shoot. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm sorry. You are committing an act of treason. YOLO, right? Drop it! It's done. I'm done. Oh wow. Oh wow, she's done it. Share, share to you for the vision. <laughs> China is stating that all intelligence they have received will be shared immediately. Oh, good. Oh, this is great. You're one of 12. Finally, they're collaborating. They, uh, they essentially, the aliens helped the world make peace. They, and then they're gone. That's all they did. Make peace, humans. Bye. It's a huge favor we're doing you, so you better return it in 3,000 years. I wanted Abbott and Costello to be friends with Dr. Banks forever, but obviously Abbott died. Rest in peace, Abbott. Oh, this music. Max Richer, so beautiful. The day they departed. Oh, Ian and Louise. Despite knowing the journey and where it leads, I embrace it. That's unconditional love. She knew Hannah before she even held her through the visions. Of course she'd want to cherish moments with her all over again. Oh, this music honestly just always gives me goosebumps. It always does. It just makes me emotional. It takes me back to a time. Sadly, they break up. And she knows that too. She knows that they eventually break up. You know, I've had my head tilted up to the stars for as long as I can remember. You know what surprised me the most? <laughs> it wasn't meeting them. It was meeting you. It was meeting you. Oh, she. Well, she is pretty damn amazing. She saved the world. Oh, I want to cry because they're so cute together. But I reckon all her like visions of the future probably got in the way of their relationship. Potentially. Oh, because she's already done it before. You want to make a baby? Oh, goosebumps all over. Yeah. Oh man, I would tie up my tubes. <laughs> I don't want the pain, goddammit. I don't want the pain. The Arrival. Wow, what a great movie. Can I just say that this film was a complete surprise to me? Like, it was very slow paced, but I also didn't mind that because it was setting up quite a lot and everything made sense at the end of the film. But it was a complete surprise to me because literally every single alien film that I've covered on my channel over the last two years has terrified me. This didn't terrify me. This inspired me. I felt great after watching this movie, but also quite sad at the same time just because of the language that Dr. Banks 
uncovered and learnt, which gave her insight into the future. And that future was quite sad, a future where she's no longer with her partner and her child dies before she dies through cancer. That's really, really upsetting. That just made me super emotional. I didn't cry in this film though, which was a surprise. I just had goosebumps the whole time because it just, it shook me to my core. It made me ask the question within myself, would I want to know the future if it was readily available to me via language? And to be honest with you, I don't know if I would. I'm already quite an anxious person. I feel like it would make me more anxious. Like if I knew that my child that I was going to have with my partner who won't end up being my partner forever was going to die before me in such a horrible way I'd probably just avoid that partner so that I wouldn't have that child and that's a terrible thing to say because all of the memories that she had with her beautiful daughter she cherished and she's obviously a much stronger person than I am because she chose to still go ahead with her partnership with Ian, still say yes when Ian asked her if she wanted to make a baby with him, knowing full well that she was going to lose her child. But at the same time, through this language that she has learnt, can she travel back into the past and relive those memories? That's another good question. I don't think so. I think the language mainly helps you with knowing the future, but I could be wrong. I just thought it was really interesting. I don't really know how I would respond in that kind of environment situation, or whether I'd even want that option. Ian was quite upset with her when he found out what happens to their daughter. And clearly her knowing and revealing too much has impacted their relationship. So maybe if she just kept it all to herself, they would have survived. But at the same time, that's not really how a partnership works. You're supposed to have open communication and share all your thoughts and experiences and whatnot. So yeah, it's quite a complex situation that they're both in. But I thought that the aliens just gave them the most beautiful gift of all. And that was probably the most surprising thing to me in this movie, just because I'm used to the experience of aliens just being destructive and bad and wanting complete control over Earth and wanting the annihilation of the human race. But these aliens, they just wanted to give them a gift. They wanted to give them world peace and they wanted the world to work together. I mean, they had their own agendas 3000 years from now but I still think that it was really nice. I ended up really loving the Abbott and Costello character and I was really sad to see them go just like that. I think this movie was really smart. Some things went over my head like the Hungarians even have a word for it. I made a stupid joke about it, but I looked it up and the word is salami tactics. So, <laughs> I mean, I was just being stupid. But the salami tactic is essentially doing a bunch of small actions in order to create a much larger action. And so like little details like that probably went over my head, but this was the first time that I was watching this movie. And I think you do pick up on a bunch of new and interesting details that you wouldn't have picked up the second or third time watching a film. And I think this is one of those films that is great to rewatch and pick up on new things because there are a bunch of little Easter eggs here and there. And there are a bunch of hints as well that you don't get obviously when you watch it the first time around. It was just such a mind trip when we open with the scene of Amy Adams holding her baby girl and the whole time you think it's her in the past reminiscing about her old life and we feel so sorry for her because she's lost her child and then she goes into her job where she's a university lecturer and suddenly aliens arrived and I made the comment and I was like wow her life just keeps getting worse and worse she's just lost her daughter and now aliens have arrived just everything like that, it just, it was such a mind, <laughs> for lack of better words, but it was, it was just had me completely surprised and delighted. And it reminded me a little bit of Interstellar, but also of Shutter Island. And I think that's mainly to do with Max Richer, but also Shutter Island is quite depressing and sad. And it's about a guy who, I mean, I'm not going to spoil it. Actually, I probably shouldn't talk about Shutter Island in case... Some people haven't actually seen that movie, but Max Richard is an incredible composer. And that's 
how I actually discovered him. I discovered him through Shutter Island. So it was only natural for me to think about Shutter Island when that song was being used in The Arrival. Such a surprise seeing Jeremy Renner here, but I thought Jeremy Renner and Amy Adams did a great job in their leading roles. I was also really happy to have Dennis Villanueva direct this because he did a really good job in Dune. And Dune was also a very slow paced film, but it was all about setting up the environment and the world so that there's more context for us as an audience who haven't read the Dune books or potentially haven't read the Dune books. Maybe I will at some point in my future, but I haven't personally. So I actually really respected and liked the pacing of this film as well as Dune. I think he did a really good job. This film actually won an Oscar in best sound editing and I think it was very well deserved. All of the sounds that were coming out of these aliens, there was actually just so much going on and the music, the diegetic sounds, the non-diegetic sounds, it all partook in just setting up the environment, the tone, the mood and equally just giving me goosebumps all over my body. So I think that Oscar was very well deserved. This was just such a great film and super unexpected. I hadn't even heard of it until recently. And then I got confused as to which version to watch because there's a 1996 version of The Arrival. I don't actually know if they're the same story. Tell me down in the comment section below. Is it the same story or are they just two separate movies with the same title. I actually don't know. I haven't looked into IMDb or anything like that because I didn't want to read the blurb. I didn't want to get spoiled. I wanted to step into this movie completely blind and I'm so glad that I did. I didn't watch the trailers. I typically don't like watching trailers because sometimes they do give things away. But I was just, yeah, I, I can't talk about this film enough. It was amazing and I haven't seen a great mind of a film since Interstellar, another film I reacted to on my channel. So check that out if you are interested. But yeah, do let me know what you thought of this film in the comment section below. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. it really does help my channel out. The uncut version to this reaction is over on Patreon. You just need a copy of the film so that you can watch it along with me. I could be on one side of your screen and the movie could be on the other side of the screen and there is a timer so you know what time I am up to. You can also find my Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, discord tiktok facebook as well as my two other channels my gaming channel and my vlog channel in the description bar and in the pinned comments down below thank you guys so much for watching this movie along with me take care of yourselves and i will see you in the next one bye everyone yeah.